And Taiwan's Environmental Protection Administration adopted a new set of United States air pollution standards on December 1st, a move that's come under fire by environmentalists for relaxing controls on dangerous pollutants. Criticism has focused on the higher air quality warning threshold for PM10, a cancer-causing category of air pollutant. In the old system, if PM10 reached 150 micrograms per cubic meter, a red warning would be issued. But now the red warning threshold in the new U.S. air quality index is set at 255 micrograms per cubic meter, a difference of 100 micrograms. Environmental groups criticize the EPA's decision to adopt the new AQI pollutant index, which effectively relaxes standards for PM10. The WHO considers PM10 a dangerous carcinogen and recommends a maximum yearly exposure of no more than three days during which PM10 levels exceed 50 micrograms per cubic meter. However, 76 of Taiwan's monitoring stations found that PM10 levels exceeded that threshold on more than 200 days in 2015. Taiwan has many days during which PM10 is in excess of 50 micrograms per cubic meter, and actually many days over 60 and even 70 micrograms per cubic meter. Taiwan's average yearly PM10 levels are some three to four times the maximum recommended by the WHO. The new system doesn't distinguish between pollutants such as ozone, sulfur, oxides, and others. But as long as they are air pollutants, we will regulate them. Some experts suggest the EPA should implement UK air pollution standards, which they argue are stricter than the US standards recently adopted.